everyone learners, my name is Danielle and welcome to lesson 53. Now you may have joined me in lesson 52 when we learnt to read o'clock times on analogue and digital clocks. Now remember on an analogue clock the minute hand is on the 12 when it is an o'clock time and the hour hand is pointing directly to the numeral that tells us the hour. So, what is the time on this clock? That's right, it's 10 o'clock. So, what does an o'clock time look like on a digital clock? Remember, the numerals over here will tell us the hour and the numerals here will have zeros because zero minutes have passed the hour and there will be a colon that separates the two. How did you go with your homework task? Did you practice making o'clock times? I'll show you what I did. So I drew one large analog clock and the o'clock time that I made was, can you guess? Yes, four o'clock. So I wrote four o'clock down the bottom my minute hand is pointing to the 12 and that is the longer hand and the hour hand is pointing to the 4, that is the shorter hand. Now let's practice making a clock in a different way. So I have a blank clock here. Now this clock has three hands. We have the minute hand, we have the hour hand and this analog clock has a second hand, but do you notice that it's actually a different colour to this one? So I'm going to place my clock down <clears throat> and I have the numerals over here that I'm going to place on the clock. So do you remember the numerals that we started with? Okay, that's right. Let's start with 12. Let's place it here and opposite the 12 we did 6. Let's place that here. Now over here we did the numeral 3 and opposite 3 we're going to put 9. Can you see 9? Here it is. There we are. Now let's go and fill in the gap. So in between 12 and 3, we are going to place, that's right, 1 and 2. Okay, now in between 3 and 6, we are going to place 4 and 5. Here's 4. And can you see five? Here it is. Let's place that there. So in between six and nine, we need to place seven and eight. Here is seven. Okay, can you see eight? Here it is. Then we have nine. After nine comes 10 and before 12 and after 10 is 11. There we go, there's our clock. Can you tell me what time the clock says? The minute hand is on the 12, the hour hand is on the 3. So this clock says three o'clock. Well done. Now, have you heard of the nursery rhyme, Hickory Dickory Dock? Well, in the rhyme, there is a mouse and the mouse climbs up a grandfather clock. Now we've made a grandfather clock here and I'd like to do the rhyme with you. So we have been practicing lots with o'clock times. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an o'clock time on my grandfather clock and I want you to tell me what it is. 
Then we're going to sing the rhyme together. Are you ready? First of all, I'm going to make the time. So we know that when it's an o'clock time, the minute hand, which is the longer one, needs to point to the 12. Have a look. Where is the hour hand? It's pointing to the six. So what time is it? Did you say six o'clock? Okay, can you sing along with me? Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck six, the mice ran down. Hickory dickory dock. Let's try that again. Okay, I don't want you to look, so close your eyes and I'm going to change the time. Okay, open. Can you tell me the o'clock time? Once again, the minute hand is on the 12, the hour hand is on the 9. So what time is it? That's right, 9 o'clock. Sing along with me. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck 9. The mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock. Shall we do one more? Okay, close your eyes. Okay, open. Okay, so I haven't moved the minute hand. It is still on the 12, so we know it's an o'clock time. And the hour hand is pointing directly to the two. What time is it? That's right, two o'clock. Can you sing along with me? Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck two, the mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dock. Thank you for joining in the nursery rhyme with me. I'm going to pack this up and set up for our next activity. Now, you might remember our friend Ollie. Now, Ollie has a very exciting job today. She is filling in for the zookeeper at the local zoo. Now, the zookeeper has given Ollie a map and also a schedule for her to follow. Now, Ollie's job is to follow the schedule and feed the correct animal at the correct time. But Ollie is still learning about o'clock times using analog and digital clocks, so she needs our help. Do you think you can help? Great. So what we're going to do is we're going to help Ollie read the schedule and tell her where to go in our zoo setup. Then we're also going to show Ollie what that time would look like using our analog clock and our digital clock. Now remember, this isn't a real digital clock. This is our real digital clock. This one is just to help us learn. Okay, let's get started. So, our first animals, we have the kangaroo and the koala that need to be fed at 6 o'clock a.m. We know that a.m. means in the morning. So it's a very early start for Ollie. So, 6 o'clock on an analog clock, we know that on o'clock times, the minute hand needs to be on the 12. And the hour hand needs to be on the six. So I'm speeding up the time here and I'm going to make six o'clock. So here goes the hour hand. It's nearly on the six. Remember on o'clock, the hour hand points directly to the numeral. There we go, Ollie. Can you see the minute hand on the 12, the hour hand on the six, that's six o'clock on an analog clock. And let's show Ollie on the digital clock. We have six o'clock. There you go, Ollie. All right, everyone, let's get Ollie to the kangaroos and the koalas to feed them. Here we go. Here she goes, past the zebra. 
around the snakes. And here we go, Ollie feeding the kangaroo and the koala. Well done. Okay, your next job at eight o'clock in the morning. Oh, Ollie needs to go and feed the snakes. So eight o'clock, let's have a look. We have it on six o'clock. Their hands are moving in a clockwise direction. At seven o'clock. And here we go. Eight o'clock on the analog clock. Can you see that, Ollie? And on a digital clock, that's seven o'clock and eight o'clock. Okay, Ollie, let's go around to feed the snakes. I hope you're very brave today, Ollie. Okay, let's look at our schedule. So we've done the kangaroos and koalas, we've done the snakes. So at 10 o'clock, Ollie needs to go and visit the lizards. Okay, Ollie, let's show you on the analog clock. It's on, oh, wrong way. It's on eight o'clock. Now it's on nine o'clock and here we are, 10 o'clock. There you go, Ollie, 10 o'clock. And on the digital, Clock. Oh, so now I need to change this. There's a one here and here we go, Ollie. Oops. 10 o'clock on the digital clock and we're going to visit the lizards. Oh, where are the lizards? Here they are. Okay, they're over past the snakes. Okay, let's go back this way, Ollie. And here you are, towards the lizards. Great job. Okay, back to our schedule. Okay, we've done the lizards. Okay, so at 12 o'clock, remember another name for 12 o'clock? Sometimes we call it midday because 12 o'clock is the middle of the day. We're going to visit the zebra and the giraffe. So Ollie, 12 o'clock, do you remember what it looks like on an analog clock? We have, there's 10 o'clock, that's 11 o'clock. We need to go around the clock one more time. And when it is 12 o'clock, both hands are on the 12. Can you see that, Olive? 12 o'clock. Okay, let's change our digital time. So we need a one in the tens and and a two there. Okay, Ollie, that's 12 o'clock on digital time. Okay, Ollie, let's go and visit the zebra and the giraffe. <clears throat> let's go this way, Ollie. We haven't seen this side of the zoo and you're running a little bit ahead of schedule. Let's go. Over the bridge, past the crocodiles, past the elephant, and Ollie's going to visit the zebra and feed the zebra and over to the giraffe. Well done, Ollie. Okay, next on the list, we've got two o'clock. Now I'm noticing that it's not a.m. anymore because it's past the middle of the day. So we call this p.m. because now we're into the afternoon. Okay, so two o'clock on an analog clock, Ollie. So it's on 12, let's go around, that's oh, not quite there. We're looking for the minute hand to be on the 12 and the hour hand on the 2. Okay, Ollie, can you see that? 2 o'clock, well done. I think she's getting the hang of this. And now on digital time, we need a zero here. Oh, and the two's already there. Two o'clock. Okay, Ollie, let's go and feed the elephant. Here we go. All right, there you go, Ollie, feeding the elephant. All right, Ollie, we're nearly there. One more 
animal to feed and this one is a very snappy one. At four o'clock, Ollie needs to go and feed the crocodiles. Okay, Ollie, let's change our analog clock from two o'clock to four o'clock. Okay, moving in a clockwise direction. There we are. Four o'clock, the minute hand on the 12, the hour hand on the four. And on our digital clock, we're changing from two oh, to four. Can you see that, Ollie? There you go. So our last job, you don't have to travel far. Let's turn around and go and feed very carefully the crocodile. Great job, Ollie. And thank you for your help, everybody. I think Ollie really understands how to read o'clock times on analog and digital clocks. Now, your home task is to make your own schedule using o'clock times. Now, you might like to do a schedule for the animals at the zoo and pretend that you're the zookeeper. So you could use analog time or digital time or you might like to record both. In this lesson we practice reading o'clock times to follow a schedule. Remember when on an analog clock when it's an o'clock time the minute hand is on the 12 and the hour hand is pointing to the numeral that tells us the hour. Thanks for joining me, everybody. I'll see you next time.